As you have already noticed, many of the steps lean into building trust between you and your employees. Trust is key. Only if they believe in you can your company and you thrive and be the best versions of yourselves. Hi everybody, one of the integral parts of your company's success is the team. It is therefore very important for you to create an atmosphere of employee loyalty and today I will share the 10 steps with you you need to make that happen. First of all, step number one, lead by example. If you don't do the work, neither will your team. You need to visibly live the values of your company, otherwise nobody else will. Second, deliver on your promises. Don't lie to your employees. When you say you are going to do something, do it. Your team needs to believe in you and trust you. Third, stretch your people. Give them demanding targets. No one can develop personality or develop professionally when the bar is set too low. Set yours and your team's targets high to make sure everybody will improve their work every day. Fourth, praise people when they do a good job. Being a demanding leader does not mean your employees don't deserve credit when they have done a good job. Let them know and uh, this will also boost then their self-esteem and their confidence. A well done said in a direct and friendly way has never done any harm. Fifth, the be available when they need support. Always, your employees will not develop on their own. They need your help, so be ready to assist them when they need you. Sixth, don't blame, but help in search for solutions. Nobody will win playing the blame game. You are trying to build a team and everybody needs to stick together. So be supportive rather than putting the blame on people if something goes wrong. Seventh, don't be too close. You are not your employee's best friend, you are their boss. Make that clear. Even if you have a friendly relationship with everyone at the office, you are the leader of the company and everybody needs to know that. Number eight, don't shy away from telling the truth. Even if it's hard, we all know the truth can be uncomfortable at times, but it's always the best to make sure people trust you, uh, lying to people doesn't help them and it doesn't help you either. So be uh, honest at all times. Number nine, ask them for the input. Take it aboard when it makes sense and don't pretend your style is participative if it isn't. You want people to be engaged in decisions regarding the company. Make sure to openly discuss them and take them into consideration. This creates trust in you and your organization. Number 10 and finally develop a sound working knowledge of what the experts in your team are doing so that you can understand their work and help them from 20,000 20, 20, feet perspective. You are the leader of your company. You need to know the ins and outs of the business and in order to talk to your employees you need to know what you are talking about and what they are talking about. So show genuine interest. Follow these 10 steps and it will be a lot easier to build a loyal team. As you have already noticed, many of the steps lean into building trust between you and your employees. Trust is key. Only if they believe in you can your company and you thrive and be the best versions of yourselves. So apply these steps, give it a try. If you are interested, you can find my contact details underneath this video. Click on the link, apply for a free session, and if there's a good fit, we can have a chat about one of your specific leadership challenges together. I would love to do that. My life program is tailored to young leaders and entrepreneurs trying to grow from founder or professional into a leader. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if 
you would like to give me feedback, I will respond personally to all of your comments. Thanks for watching. See you next week. This was Armin Elrao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself. <laughs>